the things that society values in women i'm not even saying it's necessarily right, right. but the things that women uh, uh society values in women goes down as they age gravity takes it away from you mm. age takes it away from you and the things society values in men goes up with age unfortunately and then it it ends up going down but like Dudes right, reach their you peak at 45. He got me. He, you feel what I'm saying? This so, point has been proven. <laughs> Listen, it's the message right here. Black boy, tell me how you really feel. Because I just want to build with you. Black girl, tell me how you really feel. I want to keep it real with you. I want to live better, eat better. I want to love better, sleep better. Yeah, I want to feel so aligned. Let, let's let's go to the question portion. Yeah, what's All the right. question? What questions do you have for men? And me and Zoe will do our best to answer them. Why aren't men consistent? That's what I want to know. Okay. Say, that's, like, you meet a female, mm -hmm. right? Y'all texting, calling all the time. Like, say, give it, like, two weeks, right? Mm -hmm. Say y'all fuck. After that, don't hear from him. Why is that? You already got what he wanted. Besides I'm, that, I'm explaining. Simple. I'm explaining it two ways. So Not it's me. there are dudes who like, and I know dudes who like, yo, I'm gonna pay whatever amount of money I need to pay to get the pussy. Mm -hmm. Like, so there are dudes like that that they're just gonna play the game to get what they want. They're gonna move on. However, I want to talk more about the dudes who, like I was talking about, they put you on the pedestal, and unfortunately, <clears throat> a lot of women think they're good women. Because they never have to consider what men consider good. Mm -hmm. So what tends to happen is eventually, especially after we have sex and all the, you know, the rose-colored glasses aren't in our eyes anymore, we realize yeah, she's actually, like, I, don't, I actually don't like her as a person. Mm -hmm. And then they move on. So that's why I've been telling women, are you a likable person past just your looks, past just your WAP? Because what what, you know, as men get older and we get more experience with women more comfortable we mm -hmm. get a little bit more status and shit like that we're around bad bitches a lot right so so looks don't really matter so looks don't yeah, really exactly. matter right mm -hmm. and 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 so you have to be honest about your personality as opposed to just assuming you're good mm -hmm. okay so you have to think about it from the perspective of men am i good from a man's perspective because somebody like me for instance i'm somebody who is you know what I'm saying? Sapiosexual? Would you consider yourself a sapiosexual? Sure, sure. Okay. But with, with with that being the case, like I'm not a super emotional person, mm -hmm. so I appreciate emotional women. Mm -hmm. Like she's she's the yin to my yang. She's my balance, right? Even right. my daughter's mom, she's emotional, right? Mm -hmm. So so you know, with that being said, if you're somebody who's like me, mm -hmm. it's not it won't work. work. Yeah. It won't work. I won't. I, I won't. That. I won't be attracted to myself. I'm attracted that. to my compliment. Right. So opposites I, attract. Absolutely. So do you believe in the so, sign things like the huh? signs? I don't believe in that nah, stuff. But not astrology. I, I, I hear. I hear you though, because I, <laughs> I think asking, people. Because people do. Yeah. You know, everybody pe different to me though. So mm -hmm. Facts. Asking, facts. Yes. So so my thing is like from a woman's standpoint, what I, the advice I would give my daughter is consider the type of man that you want. So, like, whether you need to make a list, you need to draw that nigga, you need to go on Photoshop and put him together. I wish we could build our own man. But right, build right. <laughs> build, 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 build the nigga in your mind. I wish, Perfect, yeah. And then consider to yourself, and you need to be honest, and you need to be thorough, and you need to be authentic. Mm -hmm. Who does he want? I 100% agree. And I've seen a thing where it says, write a list of everything you want in your partner, and then become those things. That's a bad, that's a bad idea. That's a terrible... Explain. Elaborate. I, okay. Y'all can't yeah, be the because, same. Yeah. Because, like, say you're talking to someone and you expect them to be like, oh, what do you want in a person, right? Mm -hmm. They're not going to tell you. Yeah. Because then you're just going to be that. You know yeah. what I mean? Emotional. It's, that's not authentic. I, I, right. I, to, to, I can tell to, you to everything answer, I want. To exactly. answer your question, and I think it's a really good question. So when I was in high school, I played football. I was a quarterback. Mm -hmm. So... If we, let's say there was a dude transferring from another school to come to our team. There were two dudes, and I had to decide who I wanted to come to the team. Dude one was another quarterback. Dude two was a wide receiver. Who would I be more enthusiastic about inviting to the team? Another quarterback or a wide receiver? 
usually you'd be more excited by about the wide receiver. Right? Wide Absolutely. Receiver. Right. I don't want another quarterback because gotcha. now I got to compete with him. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. I want somebody to throw the ball to. Mm-hmm. He makes me look good. I make him look good. Right. So, again, that's why I've been saying, okay, figure out the type of man. So, maybe you want a quarterback type of dude. You need to learn how to be, catch the ball. Maybe you want a uh, 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 wide receiver type of dude. You need to learn how to throw the ball. But you need to be clear on the type of man that you want and then the type of woman that he's going to want. And then you need to do that. But if you just think, you know, I'm a I'm a point. Let's use basketball. I'm a point guard, and he should like point guards. No, point guards like centers. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, baseball shit. If you're a shortstop, you know what I'm saying. He likes a pitcher. He doesn't want another shortstop. Right. That's his so, position. Exactly. Yes, sir. Exactly. That's yes, sir. all I'm saying. I get you. Mm, next question, ladies. Because, like, y'all feel like all black women are the same. You know? Right. Like, everything y'all said was just, like... Generalized. Politic. Generalized. Yeah. Yeah, just very what, general. What, just what best everybody says about everybody. That sounds like true. a chord. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. She don't got her headphones while she can't. Um, yeah. well, I want to address that. I think... Um, I'm, so, me, I'm a psychology nerd. We can tell. <laughs> we can definitely tell. Yeah, I do this shit. Yeah, but opposite. But... Anyway, I say that to say, like, when you really study psychology, you realize people are not that different. They're not. Generally. They people, are, generally speaking, people's motivations are very similar. Mm-hmm. Like, even across race, across gender, across socioeconomic status, when you really boil it down, people want life, liberty, and a pursuit of happiness. Right. Now, it gets more complex. Everybody's different. No, absolutely. It gets more complex as you drill down, but generally speaking, people are the same. Now, when when you drill down, people are a lot more similar. So, yes. yeah, so like black people have a lot in common. Why do black, black people? We'll get to that. Everybody's, black, everybody's their own person. You're absolutely like, right. Black own. men have a lot in common. Black women have a lot in common. As pe- and as people who are trying to have the most... The culture. We'll yeah, say. yeah. And as people who are trying to have the most expedient and trying to have the most thorough and um you know productive interactions with people you need to have a working understanding of people yeah so you need to even though like you're going to be different than any black woman i've ever met you're still a black woman so i have to come in understanding you're probably going to feel a certain way about colorism you're probably going to feel a certain way about uh uh, texturism futurism things like that even though me and asia are the same black woman Mm -hmm. she is you know lighter yeah i am darker you guys look at us differently absolutely and and even though we look at you differently there are certain pain points that are consistent from being a woman you know what i'm saying Mm -hmm. no no no, not even that but as being a woman both of you guys can relate to yeah, both of you guys can relate to not feeling safe walking home late at night. Mm-hmm. You come from two different walks of life, have different experiences. Both of you guys can relate to dealing with men. Both of you guys can relate to menstrual cycle. Black men specifically. Black men specifically. Yes, sir. Hispanic men, Hispanic. black men. I don't you know, know what I'm saying? I don't know. So with that being said, there are certain, there are certain consistencies. So I think we need to first understand the consistencies. And be able to speak to the consistencies and then pick apart the differences. To the majority, from the yes. That's yes, all. sir. Yeah, that's all I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Can't trust them. Niggas so, so, nah, hold on, wait. Trick. I have to address this, though. Let me can address, address this. Address this. Address hold it. on, hold it's on. Clear. Oh, it's undress clear. Undress it. Auntie, calm down. What the fuck down. is going on? Undress it. <laughs> hold on, baby. Hold on. Be clueless to the situation. Hold Literally. on, hold on. All right, talk to us. Shorty. I just made a statement, but I want to talk about you. I got you, I got you, I got you. Hold on. Shorty right here. I'm not Thank shorty. Nasia. She's tally. That's right. Shorty right here. Nasia. Shorty Period. right here. Oh, God. Shorty right here. No cap. Okay, I'm going to call you a nigga. In the green. That's right. <laughs> I'm Nigerian, though. On cap. Shorty right here thinks that mm-hmm. me and Shorty right here. That's right. right. Situation. Period. When did that ever come out of my mouth? You, you're insane. She asked the question. She asked the question. Mm. That's what it says. That's what it says. That's what it says. That's what I mean. That's what I mean. The Haitians, the Africans, they're flirtatious. That's what I said. Okay, guys. I want to speak you know what? on you, though. Extremely. Yeah. Extremely. You right. I'm glad shit. he gave you your props. Okay. Give it to right. me. Give it to me. Don't give it to him, but at least he acknowledged it. Tonight he's doing that. Just do it. But at least he acknowledged it. Power trip. Welcome back to the show. Got me up all night. Oh, fuck's sake. I don't see okay, well, nothing too, too. wrong. Okay, come on, let's get nah, we don't do R. Kelly up in here. With a little something, man. Well. 
I don't say nothing. I can't cancel that man, man. That I, I don't know, like, oh. no, never cancel R. Kelly. R. Kelly, the goal. Oh, he yeah. making well, babies out right. here. But anyways, I am. we listening. Calm down. Oh, can I wear on that? We wanna have. We wanna have. Um. Oh. So, y'all good? You wanna switch? <laughs> oh, that. <laughs> Y'all good? Oh, she took his hat off. Mm-hmm. Bomba guy. That shit patted down on the top. <laughs> y'all good? Y'all good? Y'all good? Y'all yeah, let's good? go. Yeah. Yes. All right, welcome back. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Thank you, guys. I need um, my hat. I don't have a haircut. Add. Help me here. You yeah, got you got a, a wig. I don't got my saying? wig on. That shit be looking crazy. I gotta look so. pretty too. <laughs> we gonna make it happen. Thankfully, my hairline is still holding yeah, on. Yeah, his shit was looking that he was all right, so ladies. It's holding yeah. on. Chocolate? I'm trying. We're going to Sound like lunch. he might be faithful. I'm gonna fuck you over. Like Kim? I'm going to fuck you over out there. The Don't worry I about that. I got you. I got something for that. Anyways, welcome back to the show. All right, so, uh, Patsy, you had some questions for Alan. I didn't have questions, but I did going have the last. a... Um, hold up. It's alcohol. It's tequila. It's tequila. Oh, damn. You uh, said, you you said I have some responses. Yes. Yeah. Yes. What do you okay. have written down? Just jump over that, and then I'll start the video whenever you figure that part out. All right. So in response to Alan, he was saying how, you know, men are going out and looking for women in different continents, in different countries, because they give them a different type of respect. The evolution of women has come about. All right, and this may be a phase. It could be a phase, honestly. But we have ample opportunity. We have so much that is out there at our disposal that we are now becoming what men were, basically. And I don't think that they can handle what they have been dishing out for the last, we'll say, 30 years. (laughs) They don't like it. (laughs) They don't like it. So they're saying, What's your question? No, no, go ahead, go ahead. Finish up. All right, they're saying that women are city girls and, you know, they'll fuck whatever. But that's not the case. We're not fucking whatever. We're fucking what's, you know, given to us. So the evolution of women, basically, we're going to say in the 1700s, obviously, not 1700s. But don't cut this out either. (laughs) (laughs) Peter, come on, get to it, get to it. Just get to the point, get to the point. What are you trying to say? But so, listen, women have evolution. Wait, women <laughs> cut that part. All right, no, 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 hold on. Women let me, have let me, let me try to hold on, hold on, hold on. I got you. So you're saying that women of today are, you know, women have evolved. Women are exercising the options that men exercise. We have in, ample in the- options from jobs to money to travel to men. We have so many options and we are just exercising our rights to those options, basically. Mm-hmm. Exactly the way that men have been doing for centuries. And they don't like that. Right. And they cannot accept the fact that women are doing exactly what they've been doing mm-hmm. for the last 20, 30, 40, 50 years. You guys can do all the hand signals that you want. It may be a phase, sure. But we are seizing our moment. This is our moment. It could be a 20-year span. It could be a five-year span. It could be a 10-year span. You know what I'm saying? Bet that. But we are seizing our moment. And we have (laughs) been treating men the way that men have been treating women for the last, we'll say, century. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You guys are not okay with city girls, right? What's your question? Just, just I don't have any questions. Throw it out this there. is a statement. I don't have any questions. What's your statement? Are y'all okay with city girls? Right. Not? That's the question. Right. Yeah, that was love my question. Them. I love city girls. I appreciate the one. movement. No, you I'm right. in love with the movement. I Niggas like that would, though. You like the and movement. You're something. in love with the movement? Because Alan yeah. was not in okay, favor of the it. movement. I mean, hold on, hold on. Before, Wait. before, Alan, Alan, hold on, okay, hold on. Okay. Before you say something. Okay. Because I want to hear Alan. Because he's going to be honest. I, I'll be honest as well. All you right, know please. Me. You've known me long enough. I'm always honest. Um, fact is, if we're speaking on, you know, longevity and relationships, then yes, no. I, I mean, fuck the city girl movement. Right. It's stupid. Exactly. But if we're speaking on generalities, most men, accessibility, women, of course I love... I'm in love with it. You Y'all, like the easy access. Can I hold on? I'm just sh- give me a sec. I'm sure. Give me a sec. I'm not speaking for myself okay. per se. I'm speaking for 
the average man. This is the average old podcast, and it's the average old. The average guy generally is happy with the movement right now because we could get pussy in easy access. It's easy access right, right. now. So we out here. We begin. We you begin are pussy regardless. Confirming. Let me explain what you women do not understand. All right, I'm listening. Women conflate access to sex with access to relationships. Women believe that if men, you got 100 men in your DMs, that's, that, that, that inevitably means that men want to be in relationship with you or want to marry you or want to be in long-term mm-hmm. relationships with you. Hold on, let me, get, let me get to the point real quick. Mm-hmm. Men don't want to be in a relationship with you. Those right. men in your DMs, they're not trying to be in a relationship. They're trying to have they, sex. Right. Trying to fuck. You're right. That's, 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 that's you're that's right. It. And we know that. Face value. Right? We know that. Exactly. So why, why would we not be happy about that if that's our first, that's our instinct. That's our very first and sexual, so you if, know, that's our very first and sexual, you know, what's the word I'm trying to think of? Reflex. Reflex. Okay. Fuck's sake! That's that's our that's that's literally that's a knee jerk right there. Like, that's okay. all we want. When we meet you in first, on first value, face value, we want to have sex with you. We're not thinking about oh, I want to make this woman my wife. Mm-hmm. No, we're thinking about I want to have sex with this woman. And then after the fact, then okay, cool. Like what what is what else does she have involved in her? What's her brain like? What's her mind like? What's her style like? Right. What's her you know family like X Y and Z? And then we want to marry you. Okay. But in the, in the initial stages, we just want to fuck. So right. at the end of the day, I think He's that you're, y'all, I, I think saying. that women are actually losing as of today. Yes. As of today, we're actually losing because y'all are actually looking for men that's you know right here, right 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 now. You think we're losing, but we are living the lifestyle that you were living in the seventies. But when you're not t- gaining when anything. That pimp era was was happening when you guys had all these women underneath your belt. I'll let I'll you know I'll let Alan Don't to that. Let Alan ahead, ahead, express ahead. it. Don't dismiss me. I'm not no no I'm sorry. I'm saying I'm, no 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 I was saying <laughs> go ahead go ahead and say what you gotta say and then let Alan Right. So I was saying I'm done with the conversation, but let Alan just Okay. To it. So women are living the lifestyle that men have been living for centuries now. We've evolutionized. Mm-hmm. You know, we've evolved mm-hmm. as women. We have ample opportunity. We are able to work now. We are able to I'm transport sorry. ourselves from Stop one it. place to another, basically. Mm-hmm. We don't depend on men in the way that we did historically. Do you, right. do you understand what I'm saying? I agree. I, I actually agree with you. Beautiful. Thank yeah. you. All right. So it could be a phase. It could be a phase. It could be five years. It could be 10 years that women are going to be in this city girl era. But this is just something that we have basically, this is something that we have, I won't say earned because it's not something that we've earned, but it's something that we've become, that has become accessible to us, basically. The opportunities, the men, the money, the, the, the ability to travel, like the ability to be... Nah. The, the freedom. I'm gonna, let me stop you real quick. Okay. And I'm, I'm going to go off a quick two second rant real quick. Okay. No. Women do not want all of that shit. Women don't want to be what men were years ago. Women don't want that. Ultimately, women want marriages. Women want relationships. Women want commitment. So at the end of the day, like, no, that's bullshit. Let's be honest, right? You want a man who's your man. Right. You want a man who's providing for you. I can you want a man that. who's protecting you. You want a man who is yours, ultimately. So that's mm-hmm. absolute bullshit. First of all, that's number one. Okay. Number two is, at the end of the day, like men can, we can, fuck multiple shorties. It doesn't matter at the end of the day because we still decide who is that woman. Okay. I, it doesn't matter. I could have sex with six women right now, and I would still pick that one woman who takes my seed. That is Period, true. point, and blank. At the end of the day, like you're looking at it from, mm-hmm. you're looking at, you're looking at relationships from a masculine perspective as a woman, and you can't do that. You have to look at a relationship from a feminine perspective as a woman. What are you bringing to the relationship? What is your part to play in the relationship? And then allow the man to play his part within that relationship. But when you start conflating things like, oh, well, we're doing the things that you were doing back in 1970s, and now you guys don't like it, we love it. What are you talking about? We, I love the fact that Shorty's is out here trying to give it ass. Nasha, what do you have to say about that? Stop it. 
Let me finish. Okay. I love the fact that women are out here trying to give ass. I love it 100% as an average fucking zoe. But you wouldn't marry them. Let me finish. As an average fucking zoe, I love it. I would never marry those shorties. Average. I would not ever marry those shorties. It would. They would not be shorties. in the realm of marriage. And that's perfectly fine. Hey, one mic, please. Let's just respect the show for a second. I'm listening. One mic. I'm ad-libbing. For, for marriage... For marriage purposes, right? I will not. I will not follow suit with that. You know that lifestyle. Like we just fucking around. No, that's not the way. That's not the woman that I want. Okay. The woman that I want is a woman that adheres to my my preferences. Because when I want to have sex with a woman, because women control sex and men control relationships. Beautiful. So I said. would. I would have to adhere to the woman's preferences when I want to have sex with her. Oh, she wants me to be this type of guy. She wants me to take her on dates. She wants me to be X, Y, and Z height. She wants me to be looking this type of way. So you know what? I have to conform myself into what she requires. But when it comes to relationships, I need you to conform to what I want you to conform to. I want you to be a fucking wholesome woman. I want you to cook for me. I want you to be in the house. I want you to keep yourself for me. I want and you we to want keep the your same thing. Me. We no, want to be that person for same. you. Fuck we do. Me. We do. Naja? I seen you had something no, no, to say. No, this is a productive back and forth. I want you people to continue. No, 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 no. I'm gonna hear what Naja has to say. Let's hear what Naja has to say. Yeah. I'm, I'm done with that because you're never gonna understand it. <laughs> say about what though? Okay, Mia. you you almost interrupted, so I just wanna. I had not forgot. <laughs> oh, All right. Fucking shit. <laughs> For real. Okay. Anyway, let's, let's, to let's bring this back. Let's bring like, this back full circle, real okay. quick. I, I'll put it back on. I gotta perspective. finish what I gotta say. Go ahead. Go ahead. All right. So, you know, men have their time. All right. There was a pimp era. There was a whole pimp era when there was men. There still is a pimp era. Exactly. So now women have evolutionized to the same level that men are at. And you guys simply can't handle it. That's all that it is. That's what passport boys are. You guys can't handle the fact that we are... What you were. Can basically. I respond to that? That's no, true. Please. Thank you. But go ahead. Okay. No, no, no. You go ahead. I want to hear what you got to say. I feel like a woman cheating is different than a man cheating. Hundred percent. I like, agree with you. If a woman cheats, like they're bound to catch feelings, type like you know what I'm saying. But <sighs> if a man cheat, yeah. But if a man cheat, they're like they can get twenty different pussy, but they still worry about that one bitch. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like my baby daddy example. Just talk he could be it. fucking, you know what I'm saying? But he's still worried about what the fuck I'm doing. I'm like, you got a whole bitch. Why are you worried about me? You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. But it's just like, but then again, for women, it's different. I, I, maybe. I don't know. But I haven't why, really just. Why do you think it's different? Let's talk about that. Wait, 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 wait. Before we do it's, that, before we do that. And I think okay. that's actually a very, very, very Trust important me, I'm topic. Good, yeah, I'm good but there. I, I want to just close this peanuts Please. topic right here okay. which goes with the men women have their are, time hold on just so i understand right you're saying that women are now what men were right right women mm -hmm. now are like freelance we have and opportunity pussy. we have the ability to make our own money we right. basically plan how it go and men so, don't like when women make more money good. than them hold on let me let me just this, this thank you for saying that as well let me just let me just kill this and then we can move on if you disagree we can talk about that later don't on don't kill it but mm -hmm. You cannot, women cannot be men. That's true. We've, Good. we've never At wanted all. to be. Good. We so, don't want to so be. So when you then, when you then, you know, revert yourselves from your feminine selves into men, you then remove yourselves from the dating game, you know? In essence, because you cannot be a woman and then turn yourself into a man and expect to date men. We're not turning you cannot, into men. I want to correct you, just you on said, that. No, I'm not we into are men. just maneuvering as men have maneuvered. But playing you're doing how men. Go. You're do you're playing the game as how men play the game. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's, that's exactly if, my if, point. If it's a you game, then we both thank gotta play. You, you have but to. Hold yeah. on, but thank you for saying that. You're playing the game as men play the game. If it's a game, I'm, I'm trying to win. It is a game, and I get that. I appreciate y'all for admitting with or agreeing with me. 
You're playing the game just like men play the game. So in essence, you're turning yourselves into the men that you actually are attracted to. You're turning yourselves into men. No, not the ones that I'm not that you're to. attracted to. Mm-mm. You don't even know how they be to you really. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, thank you, Nasia, for you know how I be. reinforcing what I was about to say. <laughs> Is there a better way to explain this? Alan? Please, I, I feel Alan, like I feel like there's a, a I feel way, like there's a better way to explain to this. Alan talk. And I'm not I'm not really spotlight touching on you. It. Go ahead. God damn, I feel nervous, guys. Oh my god. <laughs> Come on, Mr. Uh, no, talk, so th- this this is what I'll say. Right. Um I remember there was a there was a, a dude he posted on Twitter, he was like he doesn't like the fact that, you know, women are posting news and shit like that. And a bunch of women in protest sent him sent him a bunch of nudes. Right. <laughs> they like that shit though. And it was like we're yeah, we're gonna show that. him and he's like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I, I say I that, that. I remember that I say that to say to his point, like, you know, masculine women are easier to have sex with, so men aren't really you know men masculine women. Masculine Elaborate, women, please. Masculine women are easier to have sex with because masculine women prioritize the same things men prioritize. No, okay. No. Simple as that. And That's not true. It's That's it. it's very true. And I'm listening to Alice. I think I'm listening. I think the difference is and a lot of times like we talk about the cheating and stuff like that. But the difference we have to like really acknowledge is for instance, my daughter, as young as she is, she already has all the eggs that she's ever gonna have in life. She's born with all the potential human beings she can make. And then after puberty and after menopause, she and every single period, she continues to lose them. So when we talk about women going after the best possible man, it's because there's a scarcity there. I have a finite number of eggs that I continue to lose, so I have to find the best, biggest, baddest, richest dude to protect my offspring. But can we not say men's sperm count decreases as they get older? Please. But, but what are we talking? Women are born with 100,000 eggs. Okay. Why the you know, richest? Do you know what a low sperm count is? What yeah. is it? 15 million. Okay. Million. That's a, that's God, that's damn. that's a, million. Okay, okay that's, but only that, one sperm million. can can guess how, impregnate guess, exactly. a female. Guess how much yeah. it wait, and it's wait. only one of it those 15 it. million. I, I understand. No, please not let's let's, let's, let's let, not get confused with the matter let, of fact let's, that let's, millions. Let's let's level because okay. what what I'm saying is like a low sperm count is 15 million. Average sperm count is 200 300 million. A woman is born with about a hundred thousand eggs. So. The reason men move a certain way and women move a certain way, it really boils down to biology. And even like to your point about women falling in love and shit, it's because it makes sense. You have to bond with a baby to take care of it. Whereas men are not tasked with taking care of a baby as far as the nurturing piece. So like the chemicals that are released in your brain are not released in ours to the same extent. That's true. That's science. So so the point I'm making is if if you're a woman trying to play men's game, you're going to lose. All day. Are we? Right. All day. Or are Literally we just going to, you know, hit it and quit Equalize. it? Like, thank but you for the women D. Women can definitely Let's do go. that. You're no, not equalizing no, women, women, at all. Women can absolutely. But it's just like, what are we getting out of that? Exactly. Because women can absolutely do, absolutely do that. But what, I, what I've been, because I have two sisters too. Okay. But what I've been explaining is like the consequences are different. Because, like, we can talk about on the high end. The preg- consequences of hitting and quitting? Absolutely. Okay. We could talk about on the high end, like, pregnancy, okay. right? We could talk about STDs and shit like mm-hmm. that. But we can also talk about your pH balance being thrown off. That's something men don't have to deal with. Raggedy men. You feel? And that's mm-hmm. my but point. It's so fault. It, it, yeah. it, it is. But my point Thank is, you. my point is, the boxes and the checklists you have to go, in your, go through in your mind to decide to have sex with a dude. It's longer than the boxes and checklists I have to go That's in my true. mind mm-hmm. to have sex with a woman. So for for a woman to think she could play the same game that I can play, considering the, you know, what happens when you're pregnant. I'm talking about post-traumatic, uh, not post-traumatic, what is it called? Um, I know what you mean. Postpartum. postpartum. God bless yeah. you. Postpartum. And I've seen the shit up close, right? Mm-hmm. When we're talking about postpartum, when we're talking about like potentially dying, giving birth, when we're talking about like um, geriatric pregnancies. Uh, ger- ger- no, not geriatric. But what, not what's everybody the- wants to keep that little baby you did no, no, implanted. I, I exactly. understand, but like um, the high blood pressure thing. What is it called? Um, I know what you mean. Damn. It's a risky pregnancy. It, it's it's, it's, it's risky, pregnancy. Pregnancy. but I don't, I don't and know. and the point I, I'm trying to make is like. Because of all the risks involved and because of everything that goes into it, there are a lot more considerations women have to make. So even a woman. That is very true. And that's even, just in even, life. Absolutely. So even a woman who's pretending that she can do and move the way that men 
do and move, it is not biologically consistent. All right, so you said pretending. Mm -hmm. Why? Because like I said before, there are a lot more considerations that you have to make than I have to make. We make those considerations, I, though. Absolutely, so to pretend that those considerations don't exist, i.e., I can move just like you, it's not Never true. Never have we said that we were pretending that it doesn't exist, That's though. Mm -hmm. We know that we can get pregnant. We mm -hmm. know that you can get 10 women pregnant mm -hmm. in two days. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Like Sometimes the sperm don't work. Right. Shit, I thought I can get pregnant. There's, 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 there's more. And with there's, a baby. But wait, there's, wait, there's wait, wait, wait one second. Wait, wait, because the, the point we're trying to make is because of those biological differences, to say that we can do the same thing is not true. It's dumb. That, that, that's all I'm saying because... <laughs> because because be real, it, I remember, I remember there was a there was a comedian. Yeah. There was a comedian. He um, he had a um, a joke that he he made, and he was saying, you know, um, if let's say my homeboy hit me up and he's like, yo, I'm about to pull up, right? Right. Um, first, I'm gonna ask him like, yo, give me a second. Let me get my shit together. You're right. Let me get you right. You know what I'm saying? Um, where are you coming from? Take your shoes off when you get. You know what I'm saying? Versus if my home, the same homeboy calls me, he's like, yo, come over. It's an easier, I'm going to grab my keys, I'm going to be there. Yeah, I'm going to be there. So mm -hmm. similarly, women are being entered. Men are entering. entering. There are a lot we more considerations. Natavia. There are a lot more considerations that are necessary <laughs> to enter or to, to be entered than to than enter. To enter. So to pretend that you can play the same game as the enterer when you're the enteree, it it never works out well. I yeah. love how you're saying pretend. Let me, it's not a game. Let me let me but say I'm this listening. one part right here, and Please. then I want to I want to get her part in, mm -hmm. part in this. Yes. The initial argument is that you are women. Modern women We've are now evolved. becoming. They have evolved, I should say, and they've evolved to become transitioned. I should God say. Goddamn. Can evolved. I? Let's use one. Sorry, evolved. babe. They have evolved to become men, okay. traditional men, mm -hmm. right? We won't say men, but. Just they come on now, stop it. Which this isn't they've evolved to become men, okay. and now they are doing the things that men usually would do, which is just have incessant sex. Like, you know, we're not for, we pleasure. Don't care. for pleasure, Ple for, for pleasure, for pleasure. You know, most women haven't necessarily considered what the cost is, particularly the cost is to let that emotional side of what we really <laughs> want let it go. Yeah, but that's not that's easier said than done for because. Some. because it, it absolutely I agree with you so we're talking about on the macro mm -hmm. the okay. the emotional side he's so cute with his <laughs> I do this all right the emotional side is tied to biology mm -hmm. it's tied to a biological predisposition so right. when we're talking about for instance women are emotional there's a reason for that That's it's true. not just because oh these bitches are just soft or whatever the I case may be there is a I just say that <laughs> yeah but there is a utility for women wanting to bond. There's That's a true. utility for women wanting to have a want long-term relationship because back in the jungle in the Serengeti and shit like that, you needed the gorilla that you just mated with to protect you and your offspring. Right. That doesn't go away just because of modernity. That's true. So all they were hearing this stuff. So all I, I think all we're trying to express as men is like it sounds good to be able to now do the same things as men when it comes to like sexual promiscuity. Mm -hmm. But there's a cost to that that we do not experience that you guys are uniquely going to experience. But can we really call it a cost if we have developed a numbness or mm -hmm. been desensitized to that emotional side that you're speaking about, basically? Mm -hmm. Yes, because um, we have to think about sustainability. And unfortunately, you know, it's like fortunately and unfortunately, men double edged sword. Right, it's the, it's fast and bark. <laughs> men are graded by their um, societal status and their economic value. Mm -hmm. Women are graded by their beauty and their, their fertility. Face value. Absolutely. Face value. That's now, literally he, it. He, here's the unfortunate part about it. Mm -hmm. Bitches be catfish. Facts, but even with that, like. The things that society values in women, I'm not even saying it's necessarily right, right. but the things that women, uh, uh, society values in women goes down as they age. 
gravity takes it away from you. Mm. Age takes it away from you. And the things society values in men goes up with age, unfortunately. And then it, it ends up going down, but like dudes right, reach their peak at 45. He got me. He, you feel what I'm saying? His so, point has been proven. <laughs> so, so my point is, my point is for, for women like in their early 20s, late 20s, you know what I'm saying, early 30s, you have to consider the long game. That's true. You have Longevity. to consider exactly. Yes. So even though you could fuck dudes and be numb and shit like that at twenty five, at thirty five you're gonna want somebody to take care and of you. And who's to say that that can't change? Who's to say that we cannot find a man that mm. well the, fits the, what we're looking for? Absolutely, but the reality tends to be that the kind of man that fits what you're looking for is gonna care that you were uh, physically irresponsible at twenty five. It's a Faustian bargain. It's a catch-22. If you want a job at Google, you have to be okay with the fact that they're going to see your browser history. There is no, there is no trade-off. So, but can I see yours? <laughs> right. Thank you, <laughs> well, Natasha. Let, Thank you. Can I see yours, though? Oh, God. Let's talk. Let's, let's, point. let's, Ring the let's bell. talk. Okay, what do you mean by that? I don't want to assume. Let what do you mean see. by that? Talk to me. The same thing you mean. What do you think I mean? <laughs> like... <laughs> What you just said, right? Mm-hmm. What? Ha- how? How active have you been sexually? Mm-hmm. How promiscuous have you been in the past? Mm-hmm. Like, what type of man are you? Is what she's trying to ask. Okay, I have a question. But it for, doesn't really matter for you though. and so. It doesn't Alan, matter Alan to Zoe. you. No, it doesn't matter what at all. What would y'all wait, consider? Wait, wait, what would y'all consider like <clears throat> a whole, like a female that like? Do y'all think body count matters? They do. I think it depends on. Let, let, let Alan answer. I think I think it matters, but I think it depends on um, the stage in life. So I remember, like in high school, for instance, I cared a lot about body count, right? Because I wasn't right. fucking like that. Right? Yeah, like somebody told me wait, I was wait, childish because I cared about right body count. Alan, wait, so no, let me let me dive right now. What you want to add? Let me. Let me. What can y'all consider now? What the body count is? Let me dive before you burn. Please. Okay, so in high school, I cared a lot about body count, but it's. Primarily because I wasn't really fucking like that. Like, yeah, I started fucking, like, at 15, which is relatively early. Mm-hmm. But, like, it was a girl I was dating. I had a crush on her since, like, middle school, right? Okay. And then, you know, we had a conversation. What's your body count? This and that. And I remember she said four or five. Mm-hmm. She, she didn't know. know. 15? Well, 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 she didn't no, know. Right. Chitty, chitty. Damn. Damn. Now, mind you, at the time. Hey, shorties she, be gaining. Yeah, she, she had to be, like, 16. So, I, I was 17 at the time. And, um, Damn. You know, a, b- a bunch of stuff because I went off to college. And shit. started early, <laughs> early as fuck. We, we and love talking about this shit. Hey, yo, you and, too? A, <laughs> and a bunch, fuck it, Patreon shit. Uh, but, yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's the Nigerian. Yeah. That's the yeah. y'all say y'all like yeah. guys. Y'all don't feel comfortable taking shots. No, let me let me learn. Let me learn. Hold Simple. on, let me get there. Let me learn. Let me learn. We'll get there. We'll get there. So oh, um, put I the remember, accent on. I asked Video her, already long enough. <laughs> I asked her, I was like, you know, so what's, what's your body count? And I remember she said four or five, and then some, a whole bunch of shit happened, like time passed. And I decided I'm going to ask her again a different way, so I was like, what number am I? Y'all want to guess what she told me? <laughs> what's she say? 20. Now, mind you, what's I was... What's she say? At, Not 20. At the, oh time, at the time, I was 18, so she had to be That's 17. Sick. Okay. She told, me, she told me I was number 11. Oh, shit. They go either over 10 or over 20. So, so, okay. Over 10 or so, over 20. They never go 18 or 17. Reason, so, man. I say that to say, like, now at 29 years old, if a woman, if I'm number 11, nah, it's not Sorry. as bad. But at 18? Yeah, 18. At 11, you're right. But that's who you were fucking I, I with. That's like you more specifically. Mm-hmm. So, let me, let, me, let me touch on that real quick. Please. Please. Child is not care about my body count. No, Please. Let me touch on that real quick. Body that's count fair. matters Absolutely. a whole fucking lot to me, right? Okay. Mm-hmm. But, you know, it could, you know, it could be played with, like you said, you know what I mean? Like, when you're younger, it's like, well, at number 25, at 18, it's like, what the fuck? You know what I mean? 25 at age 30, I mean, "Ah, okay, I could work with it. You know what I mean? That's but so twenty five and thirty. That's a fucking god. Lie. No, 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 no. I'm just saying. I'm what? saying it's reasonable. It's okay. understandable. So twenty five niggas. Re- no, 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 no. You thirty years but old. But you ain't got hold no. On, hold on. <laughs> think about it. Think about it for a second. Come here. You're yes. eighteen. Yeah. Ain't gonna feel nothing. You're eighteen years old, and you're a body count number twenty. Fuck no. Literally, like there's 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 no moving forward from there. Like you just recreational use. I think. But you're thirty years old. 
and you've had 20 bodies. I understand it. It's I get reasonable it. to him. I'm not saying that to I'm him. going to wife That's it. That's a lie. I'm not saying that I'm going to cuff it. To I'm him. saying I understand. It's understandable. But, but let's, at 30 years let's old, get to the nitty gritty. Let's get to the nitty gritty, as white people let's, say. Let's, let's, let's get, get, let's, get let's, to the nitty gritty. Let's get to the Let's hit the, the cervix. So, what I'm saying is. So, what I'm saying is, like, the reason why it's an issue is because. Primarily, I think the reason this issue is because of everything that is necessary for us to gain sexual access to you. Yes. Exactly. Versus what's necessary for a woman to gain sexual access to us. Mm-hmm. You could be the finest dude in the world. You could have all the money and shit like that. But if you go to a bar and you start walking up to women and say, I want to fuck you. Yeah. You'll get the police called on you. <laughs> Facts. That's but if a, woman, people, yeah. if a woman is average looking, she can go out into the street and get dick after... Not even really trying. Exactly. So, so, so with it's that being said, evolutionary, like facts, you facts. Know, and, and with that being dilemma, said, dilemma, we'll call it. I think, I think the best kind of analogy to illustrate this is like women are universities, men are applicants. So, imagine working hard as fuck in high school. You involved, you know what I'm saying? You doing all your homework, you doing extra credit, you cool with the teachers, you know what I'm saying? You go to PTA meetings and you a kid and shit like that. And you do all that shit, you apply to Harvard, you apply to Cornell, you apply to fucking Princeton, and you get in that motherfucker. And then you get there on the first day, you get into Harvard on the first day, and you see the nigga who's cheating off your test sitting right next to you. It's going to hit different. But can we not say men so, uh, have to work harder than I mean, women? I hate that care about cheating. Like, 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 no, no, no. no. I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm, not talking about, not, I'm not talking about... Wait, I'm not talking about cheating. I'm talking about why your sexual availability uh, availability matters to men. But can because we, we should not say? Because, because of all the work that's necessary for us to woo you, we got to take you on dates. We got to exactly. protect you. Exactly. Men have to work. It's not even the men. But there's a difference between women and men. Thank you. It's that. Women's vagina can change. Check right. This, check Men didn't. Hold on. You know? It's not second. Second. No, no, no. Hold on, hold on. I'm <laughs> the host. I'm no the host. Hold on, hold on. Nothing like. You know what hold I'm saying? On, like everybody on. that had you I can tell. I think we agree. I gotcha. think we agree. Yeah. Okay. Let me, let me, let me, let me throw this out there real quick. Right? Listening. See, the access to sex, right, for Put men those on. is. So you can hear us. Let me see. It sounds like midnight. It is nice. You can hear us for real, for real. Put those on. The access to sex for men is different from the access to to sex for women. I would agree. So, I mean, it's like, like I mean, you you hear a lot of people say, like, you know, when you're given your value, you're given, you know, it's for you. You could walk outside right now, butt ass naked, and you can get. Anybody can walk up to you and say, oh, I would do it. You know what I'm saying? If you presented yourself in that way, right. anybody would get sex from you. I would but agree. as men, we have to actually accomplish something. I have to get to, I, I have to, get to, the, to where I'm at right now to be able to say, you know what, I could have, let me finish. I have, to get, I have to get to where I'm at right now to be able to demand or require, you know what I'm saying? I, I could to get say, some. You know, yeah, to get some. I could say, Ladies. you know what, I want to get some tonight or tomorrow or whatever. Do you I, agree? No. Ladies, no. The majority, a please. Female can't fuck off looks. Facts. Thank you. There's if you would listen, ladies can't fuck right? as they want to. One, ladies don't do it. One of the Regardless. issues. One, see, listen. One listening. Of the that, yeah. Listening. Wait, 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 yeah, wait, come wait, on, wait, baby. Hold on. Hold on. One wait, second. Talk to me. What you said? A woman can't fuck off looks. What What do you mean by that? No, I'm saying like she can. Oh, no, okay. So fuck, you agree no, with us? It don't even gotta be looks, though, sis. A woman can fuck off of words. Hold on. Bitches are a woman could fuck off of words. A woman could, like I said, a woman could walk outside and you say, I want to have sex tonight. And she will have sex tonight. But a man has no, not even the slightest. I mean, you might, you might, you might have this one or two, the Drake niggas, you know what I'm saying? They might be able to say, you know what, I'm going to South Carolina. I'm going to be in this one small city. And I'm going to say, I want to have sex tonight. And I will have sex tonight. You have that very, very minute percentage of men that could actually pull that shit off. But in general, if you're speaking on average men, average guys, the regular average dudes. Zone. Okay, cool. Thank you for the <laughs> one. I mean, Tom, I appreciate you. Oh, love it. Shit. That is that is actually lovely. But, you know what I'm saying? Just, but, but, but generally, you know, like, you know, appreciate it. Appreciate it, Alan. But generally, like, the average man cannot just wake up and say, I'm going to get some ass. It's impossible. You know what I mean? We're not waking up saying we're going to have some ass. It's, it just doesn't happen that way. So, but when we have shorties, it's open to giving us sex. Because they feel like we're in the same mindset that she was saying earlier. Like, oh, we, uh, 
we we could we could flirt with niggas and we could do whatever we want to do just the same way niggas are doing whatever they want to do with shorties when we have shorties like that it's so much easier for us because it's like we don't have to be drakes anymore we're regular niggas getting pussy just the same way drakes can get pussy yeah that's true Simple as that. That's all it is. But some people, you just gonna have to, you know, chase. It takes more than just easy. oh, like, I want to yeah. get pussy or oh, I want to fuck tonight. It takes like and then shit the be mentality. Pointless. Like you can get dick and be like, oh, that shit wasn't hit on nothing. It wasn't hit on nothing. And I'm not like, doing it. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> like you hit on shit and I ain't doing it. Never again. Never again. Right. It's pointless. Facts. Maybe, maybe I'm not explaining well enough, and maybe we're not getting across to you well enough. But the fa- the fact is. It is so much easier for women to get sex than it is for men to get sex. First of all, right? Second of all, it is just as difficult it is as it is for men to get sex. It is just as difficult for it is for women to get relationships because men control relationships and women control sex. Access, I love that access, he says that. That's access, true. Access to relationship, access to That's sex. That's true. Right? Yes. So when women give it away that easily, it's like, well, we don't have to fight for this shit no more. Like, That's a fact. All right. Yeah. The shorty's out here giving us pussy. Like, all right, you stay the night. I bet. I get some ass from you. But after we get some ass from you, it is your job to now figure out what we like because we figured out what you like to get some ass from you it's your job to now figure out what we like to get that relationship or commitment or marriage from us does that make any sense i feel like what's your I question after you get the after you get the cootie you sh- y'all should chase us no <laughs> post not clarity me, we're running me, away let me, ex- just, let me explain it. It. post not clarity we're getting the fuck out of here that's what i'm saying like it don't even see, matter that's let, why it don't be no point in like you know what I'm saying? Even doing nothing with nobody. Let me let me break it down to you. Why celebrate? Why it's such a it's such a difference? Men are taught to put women on a pedestal, and it's a good thing in a way, but it's also a bad thing in a way because when we first meet you and shit, and when we see you from across the street or from across the club on some R and B shit, like we are making up all the reasons why you're so amazing. You know what I'm saying? You probably smell like flowers. Your pussy probably d- d- hitting on tin and shit like that. And when we actually get to know you and shit like that, we realize, oh, her breath stink in the morning. Oh, she's a person. Oh, she got <laughs> baggage. Normal. It is normal. But see, the, the fucked up part about it is like we're not taught to see women as people. We're taught to see women as angels, as fairies and shit like that. So when we actually realize your people, a lot of men, especially the men who are not in community with women especially the men who are not like you know what i'm saying like around and involved with women regularly it's like it's disappointing right so that's why for the majority of of uh, women they lose their power because they go from being on this huge pedestal that we put you on to falling off that pedestal so it's not necessarily that that means that you need to um just be approved and just don't talk to anybody but it's about consider the things that are going to keep a man consider the personality traits consider the skills that are going to keep a man versus just attract a man and i've been saying this particularly uh, to black women because black women are the most attractive women on the planet but when it comes to men trying to tie ourselves to them Y'all aren't necessarily winning that race, right? Attraction like men, character. men are running to fucking Asia to find wives, white men included. But when it comes to who's gonna get dick first, y'all absolutely, because y'all are fucking beautiful. Y'all are gorgeous. Y'all got the titties, the ass, the lips, the Sounds hips, the whap, the whole nine. Sure, but I think where where our women are falling short is like y'all are playing chess when it's really. I mean, y'all are playing checkers when it's really chess. Yeah. You're trying to get niggas off of just like, oh, I'm the baddest bitch. Oh, I got the best hair. There's I got the best wife. It's, yeah. it's more to that because once he gets it, what's going to keep him around? Mm-hmm. Are you a type of woman that he's going to be want to be around when you're on your period? Are you the type of woman that he's going to want to be around on a rainy day and there's no fun shit to do? There's nobody yes. that he can show you off to, right? right? And And that's kind of what I've been telling women because... A lot of women are spending more time trying to be the, the woman that he's going to want to show off versus the woman he's going to want to be trapped in the house with. I don't want to 
it's it wouldn't so be trapped if you like stupid ass responses pissing me off. So so anyway. check the story. Please, please and please and please, please. like the video. Mm -hmm. The algorithm requires that. Please like the video, subscribe to us, and you know hit the hit the bell, whatever for notifications. Yeah. And uh, we do have a very special guest today. We need to talk. You know what I'm saying? Is oh, they know me. They know me. Exactly. Yeah. Support this, my boy. Please. You know what I'm saying? Like this is the dude right here. But um, yeah. Let's go ahead and hear from Tavia and yeah. then we'll so what, what wrap bit, it up. What, what are your thoughts on the what are conversation? Your questions, thoughts, concerns. Concerns. Get into the mic, please. <laughs> I don't really have nothing. I already asked the question. No, 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 I'm saying like your general, like, did you enjoy this? You did really you learn it? something? Yeah. Okay. Final thoughts type of stuff. I've never really been in front of, of a camera, so I'm really just trying to... It wasn't that bad, was it? No, it wasn't. I like that. <laughs> it wasn't. You have I'll been in front of a camera. I'll definitely be back if I'm invited. That's you cool. have been in front of the camera, like, back then when we, we had to... but that's <laughs> different. It's, it's a group now. So, I gotcha, yeah. I gotcha, it's I gotcha. More, it's definitely more fun. It's it was a great experience. Well, thanks for coming, though. I appreciate you coming. I appreciate you coming, um... Navy uh, and Green Ranger. Yeah, Green Ranger. <laughs> Major. Major. Thank you for coming. Peanut, thank you for coming. Thank Alan, you for having dude. me. It's always a pleasure. All day. And I've We're going to do Alex. it again. We're going to do it again. And uh, thank you guys for, uh, for, for, you know what I'm saying, being on the show. Thanks for watching. And I've had, like, mad reception from you guys on YouTube. I don't know who you are, but... You know what I'm saying? Please keep liking the video and subscribe yeah. to the video. You know what I'm yes. saying? Like, thank like, you guys again. Subscribe. Once again, it's the Average Joe Podcast. We're live on We Need to Talk. <laughs> so, thank you guys again. God damn, is everybody talking at the same time? What the fuck? But anyways, thank you guys for uh, yeah, all of that. You know what I mean. Thank the you guys. Average, to and the Average Joe Podcast. And we out of here. It's right. Awesome.